good morning students today i want to revise you chapter 16 that is three dimensional shapes we have already done this before but uh, once more i want to revise it okay in chapter number 16 we have done some solid shapes we have discussed about some solid shapes for example we have discussed cone cylinder cuboid i have shown you the figures the solids not figures the solid shapes also okay the same thing again today we will revise i have written on the board you can see the solid shapes name and i have written that how many edges how many faces and how many vertices they have first of all i want to show you that this this one is the cone as you know okay so a cone has two faces that day we have already discussed two faces what two faces one is this one the curved face and one is at the bottom that is the plane face so this cone has two faces one the curved face and one the flat face so i have written cone has two faces okay now edges edges is this one from where it is folded okay this long length or this length is called the edge so it has only one edge and how many vertices it has only one vertices that is the top or that is the corner clear so this is about that cone cone has two faces one edges and one vertices clear now next comes to cube i have a chalk box this is a shape of cube okay so as you see this is the solid shape okay and uh, this solid shape it has yes how many can you say see what i have written in cube we have written six faces now can you say me how many faces 1 2 3 4 5 6 so these are the six faces of a cube clear so i have written six faces of a cube now edges edges means these edges okay the line segments which it is meeting so how many edges we have 1 2 3 4 okay 5 6 7 8 then 9 10 11 and this side is one that is 12 so we have 12 edges and how many vertices it is 8 four on the top four at the bottom so we have six faces for a cube 12 edges and eight vertices similarly for a cuboid cuboid it is based on the rectangular shape so it has also the same as cube that is six faces 12 edges and eight vertices a cuboid sorry a cuboid has same as cube six faces 12 edges and eight vertices now come to cylinder this you can see this is a cylinder okay so in a cylinder what you can see in a cylinder it has three faces oh. can you say how three faces one two and this one the curved one okay one two and this one the curved one that means two flat faces and one curved faces so i have written a cylinder has three faces two flat face and one curved face okay now edges it has two edges one is this one and another is this one so it has two edges and vertices since there is no corner you can see in a cylinder so it has zero vertices clear so it has zero vertices next comes sphere as you know sphere it is a round shape it is a ball you can say so in a ball it is only one face because fully it is curved okay it is fully curved so it has only one face that is the curved face no edges and no corners it has clear that's why we will write zero edges and zero vertices or zero corners next comes the triangular pyramid the triangular pyramid okay see this is called the triangular pyramid in triangular pyramid you can see the triangle is based on a triangular base pyramid means the base is also triangle and the pyramid is also triangle okay so in this triangular based pyramid we have four faces how four faces 
two, three. Since it is a triangle, so three faces for the triangle, and one is at the base. That is the fourth one. Okay. So it has four faces. See, I have written it has four faces. Then edges are six. How six? One, two, three, and again down one. One, two, three. So three here and three here. That means six. Clear? So it has six edges. And how many vertices or how many corners? It is four. How four corners? At the bottom, one, two, three, and at the top, one. That is four corners. Clear? So a triangular pyramid has four faces, six edges, and four vertices. Okay. Four faces. One, two, three, four faces. Uh, one, two, three, and this one. Four faces. Then six edges. One, two, three, four, five, six edges, and four vertices. Okay. Three at the bottom and one at the top. This is all about triangular pyramid. Next comes the square pyramid. This one. The square pyramid. As usual, like the triangular pyramid. But the base is square. Okay, the base will be square. So on this square base, a pyramid is there. That means a rectangular shape is there over a square base. So now in square pyramid, we have five faces. Why five faces? Three faces for the triangle and one at the bottom. So this will be five faces. Next we have edges. It has eight edges. Like this, it has eight edges. Okay, and. It has five corners or five vertices. Four vertices at the bottom and one vertices at the top. So it has four vertices. So for square pyramid, we have five faces, eight edges, and five vertices. Okay. Since this is the division class, so you will practice this chapter 16 at home, and I am giving you the question bag as practice. so kindly you practice question bag 1 and 2 at home and exercise 60 i think already you have completed so once more you read this chapter you go through this chapter and try to complete exercise 60 because you have already completed and in question number 1 just you have will write the table question number 2 you have to find that which one is the net of a cube okay and the others are activity based so i think you can do of your own so that's all for today you practice or you go through this chapter and be safe at home thank you all of you